everyone, welcome back to another video of Explorer Spelling Yacht. Today I'll be explaining uh, Mata Tabi, the two-tailed beast, to you guys. So, let's get started. So, um, first of all, I need to tell you one thing. I have been seeing that most of you guys are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. And if you guys haven't watched the part one where which I described the tailed beast and the jinchuriki, and about Chikaku, please watch it. It's in my playlist, and um, it's also in the link. The link is given in the description box. So anyway, let's get started. So Matatabi is the two-tailed beast. So um, this is the two-tailed beast of Matatabi, and uh, we are gonna learn about her. Okay, so uh, Hagoromo sent Matatabi to live in a temple built for the purpose of protecting it in a canebrake region. Over time, many people came to believe that Matatabi, like Shikaku, was once a human that turned into a living ghost. So, um, everyone thought that Matatabi was a human being. Like, most of them thought that Matatabi was a human being. Who got cursed? Who got cursed um, and turned into into something um, weird looking thing? And that was this uh, that was this like tiger like thing. So everyone was afraid and also uh, so like everyone want to know more about this. But actually, Mata Tabi was created by Hago Roma because ha and Hago Roma sent Mata Tabi to a temple and that tem uh, to protect that temple. Now we are gonna learn about uh, Jinchuriki of Mata Tabi. Okay, Jinchuriki of Mata Tabi. So I in the previous video I have explained to you guys that what a Jinchuriki is. So. If you guys haven't watched that video, please watch it. I'm telling it again and again because it's really important. If you don't or know, um, if you don't know the basics, you're not gonna understand this at all. So anyway, uh, Jinchuruki of Mata Tabi. So Yugito Ni is the Jinchuruki of Mata Tabi right here. This is the girl. Uh, who is the Jinchuriki of Mata Tabi? So, uh, the only non Mata Tabi Jinchuriki is Yugito Ni, who has inherited the monster as a child. Yugito would go on to become a Junin in her village, learning control over her Biju, a process uh, potentially made easier by Mata Tabi being one uh, of the less aggressive uh, tail beasts. So, the character of Mata Tabi is explained in the last uh, sentence because Mata Tabi was not that much uh, like aggressive. She was kind, uh, not aggressive as all the other tailed beasts, but she was kind. So it was easy for uh, Yugito to be friends with Mata Tabi. So um, Yugito uh, was uh, uh, wanted to become a Jonin in her village. But she didn't become uh, one. Uh, she is from um, Cloud, a, a, a village Cloud, and she wanted to become a Joni, but she didn't uh, because uh, she was because she was known Mata Tabi was inside, and everyone was th everyone thought she she was a monster. But after that, once she saved everyone with her power, so everyone uh, try um, everyone was. So uh, she got everyone uh, adored her so much after that because of saving the village. So yeah, now let's learn about uh, now let's look how Mata Tabi looks like. So this is how Mata Tabi looks like. So oops, sorry. So this is how Mata Tabi looks like. You may think she's a cat and a tiger, but she is um a tiger plus uh, jaguar because uh, she her um, stripes relate to a jaguar's one and um, the eyes uh, she has a visual sight just like a jaguar has 
so that is why Mata Tabi is known as the tiger plus jaguar one and she is um uh, the her natural powers are are uh, really different from everything she can control uh, the blazing fire and that's her main power so now uh, Mata Tabi, more commonly known as the Two Tails, is one of the nine tailed beasts in which it was, uh, which it was sealed uh, with Yugito Ni of uh, Kumogakar. During the first Shinobi War, Hashirama Senju captured eight of the tailed beasts and sold uh, Mata, uh, Matabi and Yuki to uh, Komoruki. Uh, at the uh, five k summit as a sign of friendship and enjoy ensure balance uh, of power um, among us the new villagers in a cavern behind the falls of truth uh, where gentry learned to control their tail beast powers where um there are all murals of mata tabi and yuki uh, which uh, indicates how long they uh, were associated with the land of lightning. Uh, tailed bees would end up being being sealed within Yugito Ni uh, when she was two years old. She was placed into the detectable training program in order to learn and to control Mata Tabi's power. In the anime, Yugito agreed to have uh, Nekoba collect Mata Tabi's power print and for the power encyclopedia. So, uh, what exactly this paragraph means that um. Um, Hashirama Senju, the Hashirama Senju, the first Hokage of the Hidden Leaf, uh, captured all the eight tails, uh, like eight um, eight tails, but he didn't uh, capture nine tails. He captured eight tails and uh, gifted um, gifted the Gyuki and Mata Tabi to Hidden Cloud uh, as a gift. So, uh, Gyuki uh, was given to Killer B while Mata Tabi was given to um, given to uh, uh, Yugito's father and Yugito's father gave to Yugito because she, uh, uh, she was only two so if she learned from the uh, uh, her early uh, like lower age it would be easy for her to control it. Um, now, uh, do, now the last part of uh, during the first Shinobi war, Hashirama captured eight tail beasts and sold Matabi and Gyuki to Gagamara and Faiki summit as a sign of friendship. We talked about this right now. The tail beasts would end up sealed with Yugito Ni when she was two years old. We also talked about this. And, um, that's all for today's video guys i hope you all enjoy it and if you enjoy please subscribe to my youtube channel because and everyone who's watching my video has never subscribed so please subscribe to my youtube channel and um i will uh, see you guys in the next video i will also add this to my playlist and um, next video i'll be talking about isobu the three tales and let's bye bye